Brewery Travelers, welcome back. We're really uh, glad to be back with you again. We're very glad to be back with you. And, and you know, as much fun as we have doing this show, Mike, uh, we hope they're enjoying it. We, we hope you're hope enjoying, enjoying it. it. We yeah. hope they're enjoying it. But you know, I've had a lot of people asking me questions about exactly how YouTube and channels like this work. Well, you know, um, we, we're in the midst of, just so in case you don't recall, we're in the midst of a, of a drive to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Very good, yes. And we started this on uh, October 1st. We had 59. Mm -hmm. And we're at 80 now. That's great. We're doing doing a lot better. So and it's because of your help that we're doing this. Well, it is. It's it, you know, it's not just us contacting people. It's it's you contacting people and getting your friends to watch. And it's working. So, uh, I, you know, we've we've uh, yeah, had I, some questions. Like I say, one of the questions I keep getting asked is: there any risk of exposing myself to tons of ads or something oh, just by subscribing? Yeah, that would drive me nuts. Absolutely, you know, absolutely yeah. drive me nuts. The answer is no. Uh, you know, the, the subscription here is it's uh, it's not a long, long term commitment. You subscribe, and uh, if you hit the notification button, you find out when we put a new show out. Other than that, there's nothing. There's no cost. There's no ads. It's we're, pretty easy. We've actually done about 20 shows. We have. And so, you know, they, they come out periodically and to let you know about ones that are coming up. We have some great ones coming up. Well, we do, especially, uh, or at least not, uh, <laughs> especially the one we're about to do, Mike. We're, we've been looking forward to this show for a while. That's right. And uh, let's uh, thank you for your help in getting to 100. Keep going, keep talking to friends, and keep coming back. Okay, let's talk about the show. Uh, the special show we're talking about. Yes. That is going to be about the Georgia Florida game. Oh, yeah. Let me just tell you. You know, the, the, the uh, there are a few interstate rivalries around the country that have huge importance in that area. For example, Texas, Oklahoma. Texas. The Red River Shootout. That's right. And then you've got, uh, and, you know, you've got uh, Ohio State and Michigan. Big up there. And obviously the one we're talking about, the Georgia-Florida game, you know, one of the things sort of unique about the Georgia-Florida game is it has been held in a neutral site. Mm -hmm. It's not a home-and-home -home rivalry. Mm -hmm. They always come, or have for years and years, Many years. Come to Jacksonville, Florida, yes. for this game. And they have brought tons of people into Jacksonville, not only to be at the game, but to be around, around the game. Yeah, and that's something that, uh, just, just to throw out a morsel, the stadium, TIA, Bank field uh, is 69,200 people in maximum capacity. Right. But, Mike, there are that many people outside in the parking lot. And there are lots it's of unbelievable. People. There are lots of people that attend the Georgia Florida game that never go inside the stadium. That's right. Now, why is that? Well, uh, because it's it used to be the moniker of the game used to be right. the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. That's right. And they're having a cocktail party in the in the in the parking lot. That's right. There's lots of people that come to the game that never have any interest at all in going to the game. They want to watch it on their TV and their R V or that's wherever right. it is around the area that they're watching it. Another part of this that, that's so exciting for, for us and, and for Barbara and I in particular is the island where we live, St. Simons Island, is one hour, almost exactly, one hour to the stadium. Right. And so St. Simons has an enormous number of visitors. The population of the island over doubles every year for this one week because families, kids, adults, whomever, use this as a launching point. And all of that just shows the point about how huge the Georgia Florida game is, not just for the game, but because of the event. I, you know, I'm going to make a comparison. Okay, okay sure. Bev and I are, are runners. Yeah. And back a number of years ago, we did a race in San Francisco. Yeah. That race has 77,000 people in it. Wow. You talk about an event? That's what this is also. Yes. July, excuse me, the, the Georgia Florida game is yep. an event as much as it is a game. But you know what? What? If what you're going to do is come to here, it's helpful to know some of the breweries are close by. Well, that's right. And I got to tell you, there, there's breweries that are part of the cocktail party. Absolutely. And, and you know, there's one with that. Matter of fact, the one we're going to cover first is called Intuition Ale Works. Right. Oh, gosh. It is 0.2 miles from the stadium and is a, a, a right around. There's a lot of parking. There's a lot of tailgating going on right there at the brewery. Hey, the great part of it is, is you can go to the brewery, go to the game, go to 
you about your parking lot worry? <laughs> that brewery really can become just totally a part of this event. Well, that's right. And and uh, intuition is a good one to have there because the, the construction of the place, it, it's like a corner of a, uh, a warehouse area. They have a corner spot. They have garage doors all around it. So they can integrate inside and outside. They, they have an upstairs balcony area that has uh, beautiful views. And uh, you should almost become one with. Plenty, plenty of TVs. They have great yep. beer. Yep. It's, it's just a super, super place to enjoy this event that we're making reference to, the game between Florida and Georgia. That's right. Now, I want, because I personally think uh, their beer is real good, Mike. Right. I want, I want to talk just a minute about about what we had. Okay, I think that's good. They, they had uh, 21 beers on tap the day that we went, uh -huh. and uh, every style. Yeah. Uh, uh, and they had uh, no overabundance of styles. They had three sours. They had two, three IPAs. They had you know a stout, and but. Um, <laughs> they had a wide range from 4% to 9% right. of ABVs. Yeah. So you could find you something to drink there. I had the uh, Lebowski. <laughs> I like Bach beer, great style. Okay. And I had one 7.3%. Great way to start the day. I had, I had the uh, Party Wave. It was an IPA. Oh, you know, yeah. I like IPAs. Oh, My yeah. wife also had an IPA. Mm -hmm. She had the Easy on the Eyes. Oh, their session Both IPA. Those, right. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I got to tell you, if, you, if you go down to the stadium, whether you're there for the game or just if you happen to be in Jacksonville, Intuition Nail Works is a great, great stop. And Barbara, Barbara really loved the sports beer. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I can't believe I almost forgot that. That uh, that's one of her favorite styles. So yeah. absolutely, it was terrific. Now, uh, just in case people don't remember, we should comment that Barbara and Bev are our wives. No, oh, yeah, <laughs> they are. <laughs> and uh, Bev is the designated driver, and Barbara is the editor in chief. So we're we're very th thankful for them. Now, uh, the game. Well, another thing about this game uh, that uh, every year this game is played on the weekend closest to Halloween. Right. So kids have had a week off school uh -huh. and they got Halloween coming up yeah. and there is uh, uh, you know, there excitement around the game. That's right. There is. Uh, there is. And, and many, many years, this is a very close game. Uh, it's pretty well balanced right. between the, the two teams. That's in right. In terms of their overall record in this game. Uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, I think they could move the game out of Jacksonville and the party would continue. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They just need bigger TVs. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if your uh, uh, parking is, you know, there's a parking lot. But, but but that's almost insignificant in that you're going to park around uh, around uh, the brewery and and you know the uh, the stadium obviously. But if you're talking about parking for just the brewery, it's kind of slight. You it's know, it's I, small. I know, but you know, I think if we're talking about the game, people yeah. that are going to the game are going to be finding a parking space yeah. long before worrying about a little bit about parking places. Well, the there's no doubt, <laughs> no doubt about that. But if you're going on a regular weekday, uh, you know, there's not a, an abundance of spots. But then again, uh, a weekday is probably not their highest. Uh, Probably not. Even on a weekend, it's not a football weekend. Well, that's true. Yeah. Uh, and also, by the way, this is where the Jacksonville Jaguars play. So having big crowds and excitement around this brewery is customary. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they're good at it. Yes. Okay. Now, if you're running late or you want another choice, there's another brewery, Mike, 2.3 2 miles from the stadium. And, and what makes Ardworth Brewing a great place during the game is the fact that they've got TVs. Oh. It's far enough away that you're not past them there in the crowd. True. Also, a large area inside, a huge quantity of craft beers of theirs that are available. Oh, that's right. They had 24 beers on tap the day we were there, and yes. that's uh, you know, that's pretty significant. I will say this, though, Mike, and you, you would love this, a third of their menu was pale ale and IPAs. That's right. <laughs> I, think we, I think we decided that there were about six IPAs there. Well, yes. That's right. That's exactly right. It's um, IPA heavy, although, you know what, there were... Um, uh, there were a lot of dark beers, Mike. They had stouts, they had uh, Doppelbach, they had Bach, they had uh, a couple other you know, dark dark beers. They did, absolutely. We had the Oktoberfest. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, the Oktoberfest was very good. Yes, it uh, it was. Their, their range of their beers go from 3% 
they they actually had a sweet potato yam beer. I never heard of that. I but three three percent all the way up to uh, ten point four. So that you know. Wherever you want to do there, you can do. They have uh, a good, good parking, and they yep. also have a very nice area outside. It's actually pretty well shaded, so even in the summertime. Right. We, we did sit outside because we, we love it out there. That's right. And we had our little dog, which is no problem there at all. So, um, I don't know. Ardwolf Brewing is, uh, is good. We had, uh, because we're of the time of year, Mike, right. there were... Uh, People wearing leader hosen. That's right. And actually, one guy was walking through with leader hosen. He had leader hosen on his dog. He did. He did. Hey, the dog was dressed. Oktoberfest is a serious thing around here. <laughs> it is. Okay, let's. Uh, we've kind of moved down. We talked about the the game, the crowds. We talked about the kids. So you haven't said anything yet about, about the fest here. Well, I was just about to. Oh, very because cool. I got to tell you, it's officially known as Frat Beach. And uh, I, I got to tell you, th it, you this, this is the weekend of the game. This is the weekend of the game. Right. And, and most specifically, Mike, it is the Friday, the day before the game. Okay. There is an estimated crowd year in and year out of 6,000 students. It's a little party. Oh, God. Unbelievable. <laughs> and we've gone, uh, we, Barbara and I have been down there to, okay. and, you know, to, to see right. because it's hard to imagine. There's a quarter mile stretch from the King of Prince down to the East Coast, uh, uh, sorry, East, uh, each beach, each beach. I'm going to get this right. <laughs> East Beach parking lot. And in that quarter mile stretch, there are 6,000 kids. And uh, well, they're all having fun. They may not remember it tomorrow, but right. they're having fun right now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's the great thing about it. So I got to tell you, this uh, that this one weekend is so big uh, for the island that there are many shops and uh, restaurants that make over a third of their annual revenues, yeah. a third of their annual profits. That that's that just, one week. That's why we have made this a special show. This that's is right. this is a Georgia Florida game. Yep. But it's really the Georgia Florida event. It is. It's a super super event at the end of October most years. It, it is, and uh, it's it's a great way to. Uh, Kind of segue into uh, into what comes after, which is typically because the Georgia and Florida are very very strong teams. Is typically you know playoffs and or you know the SEC championship game stuff like that. So right. it's a it's a big event this time every year. And uh, if you have a chance that weekend or a different weekend to come down to Jacksonville, close to downtown, there's two really good breweries, Mike. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So okay. We will, um, let's go ahead and another brewery so we can do another show. I think that's a good idea. All right, Mike. Hey, see you next time. See you next time.